I've missed you, buddy. Good to see you, Beersy. My brain has gotten significantly foggier. What's that from? Lack of use? Benders. Oh, yeah, you're doing this thing where you're chugging yeah, a yeah. beer every day yeah, yeah. until Luke Combs. Sometimes it turns into like a few. 12 beers. What do you think the odds are that he'll do this? I'm sure I could ask someone here that knows him, but I want to get it the hard way. You're earning it. But yeah, I'm, I'm foggy. And you don't use a muscle, it starts to fall to pieces. Evaporate. And here's what we're going to learn today. The first flight. Davis and Clark. <laughs> Davis and what? Davis and who? Davis and Clark and Davis? What is it? Tell me. Davis and Clark? Was... You're combining Lewis and Clark with who's Davis? <laughs> who's Lewis and Clark? Lewis and Clark were the explorers who discovered the western frontier. Yeah, they found airplanes. Nope. Who's Davis Clark? Wilbur and Orville. I was just in South Dakota. Really? Lewis and Clark, they have a big footprint there. Like physically? No, I, it's a metaphor. I don't know the difference between metaphorically and rhetorically. You know what a rhetorical question is? Yeah, it's like a fake question. It's like, a question that's not meant to be answered. If I were Luke Combs, do you think I would come have a beer with you based on fuck this yeah. series you're doing? Yeah. Well, it's meant to make you realize the stupidity of what you're doing. It's not dumb. Is it what Luke Combs no. wants to do with his free time? Probably not. Watching you chug beers, for whatever reason, it gives me pleasure. Should I go get one? Just talking about it makes you... <laughs> makes you crave it? Go get yourself a beer. Never seen anything like it. You know what? I'll do one with you. You really? Yeah. I just... Got a hit on your head. There you go. All right, Lewis and Clark. Nope. Orville Weddenbacher or something? Orville and Wilbur Wright. Yeah, they had the first sustained flight. Okay. These boys grew up in Dayton, Ohio. Home of the Flyers. Oh! That's exactly right. Look at that. And they had a bicycle shop. The WBs just loved getting around. The Wright brothers. They just loved transporting themselves. That's exactly they were they liked the wind in their hair. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I mean. What did I eat for lunch? Don't even tell me. I don't want to know. Burrito. God damn it, Dana. Extra cheese. I think that their fascination was always with aviation. And then they went down to South Dakota. No. North Carolina. Yes. I don't know why I know that. Why Very do I know good. That? Why bike when you can fly? Sure. I've said that for decades. Have you now? Yeah. <laughs> Major theory that they were playing around with was lift. Let's say that you've got an airplane wing, right? It looks like Squidward's nose. Everyone thought if you slant the wing up and wind comes under it, that will send the airplane into the air. Throw some mud flaps on that bitch. But what the Wright brothers discovered is that lift is actually achieved when you have w wind and air that is traveling over the top of the wind. Wow. What they decided to try was to do a, a, a wing with a camber. So they bent the wing. Mm. You ever hear anybody call uh, long hair? Fortnite gliders? No, I've never heard of that. That's a good one. All right. <laughs> nice. Good, good fact. Good fucking addition, you fat fuck. Their test flights were 10 feet off the ground. Pussy shit. Yeah, and no. Not in those days, it was not pussy shit. No, I mean. These days, it'd be pussy shit. It's like, I think it was just one propeller. This thing would spin and propel them forward, and then the lift and all that, and they took off. In 1903, in December, and they achieved the first sustained flight. How do we know there wasn't someone over in fucking Serbia doing it? Because this? there were a lot of people trying. And but there what were, about the boys? There were witnesses. In the backyard that are making science projects that we just don't know about because they're not in the media. Nobody had published or earned the first in flight thing yet. Who's the first guy that? Across the Atlantic? Could be Columbus, could be... Um, <laughs> In a plane. <laughs>
Charles Lindbergh achieved the first flight across the Atlantic. Oh, fuck. I'm wearing airplanes on my shirt. Look at that. <laughs> How apt. What the fuck? There's he. I have never looked at this logo ever. I just thought it was like a, a raspberry or something. I don't know. A raspberry? I don't know, a berry of some sort. Not a raspberry. A berry. They achieved the first sustained flight. And from there, this opens up the world of aviation. They unlocked the code. Yeah. Like a lot of things in America, I think we are very proud that we were achieved the first sustained air travel, just as we are very proud of having landed on the moon first. Allegedly. I'm kidding. That's right, brothers, first in flight, and maybe you'll think about that the next time you're sitting in a plane looking out of the window and wondering, how is this happening? Sucking down my fourth gin and tonic. Can you drink on airplanes? Well, if it's a Friday. Thanks, Beersy. Thank you, Francis. Appreciate you.